Oh, howdy all, grab yourselves a beer, it's time for some Path of Exile discussion. Today I wanted to put out a guide to killing the Guardian of the Hydra. One of the four bosses of the Atlas of Worlds content that are the precursor bosses to unlocking the Shaper. Now whilst these are the prerequisites to the Shaper, they can actually be harder than the Shaper himself, uh, especially when map mods come into play. I've deliberately rolled this to be a very easy map, but also to be one that will cause the boss to be more durable against my character. Uh, Elemental Equilibrium is a mod that makes my character considerably less capable of dealing damage, uh, which then helps prolong the fight so that you can see more of it than you otherwise would get to. So, before we go in there, you're fighting two enemies in this fight. You're fighting the Hydra, the Guardian of the Hydra herself, and you're also fighting the arena that she is in. The arena has a lot of hazards in it. Those hazards will be immediately obvious, and your second priority throughout the fight is moving yourself so that you are not being hit by these arena hazards. They're very obvious, they're basically slow moving frost bolts that cross the arena from one side to the other, and the lower the Guardian of the Hydra's hit points get, the more of them that will be flooding the arena, complicating the fight. However, your first priority is dodging the Hydra's big charge up attacks. One of them is the most obvious of the, ver of the various charge up attacks. The Hydra will point the bow at you, will pivot to turn to you, will charge up her bow for some time, and then she'll let loose a shot that then bounces and chains off everything that it hits, uh, forks into multiple copies of itself, and will eventually hit most targets that are within a 270 degree frontal arc. So if I was the Hydra at the moment, and I was facing where my portal is, straight down, then basically anywhere in this quadrant of the screen would be pretty much safe. Anywhere else is likely to get hit. This isn't a one-shot attack, and it is more important to dodge the uh, to dodge the arena hazards than it is to dodge this attack in most cases. However, I would still get behind the Hydra. When you see her charging this attack up, if you've got a teleport move skill, uh, such as Flame Dash, then I would strongly suggest that you teleport directly behind her. The other two attacks have less range, so they don't hit as much of an area of the screen, but they're more dangerous. The first one is Barrage, very similar to the player skill Barrage. Uh, the Hydra charges up for a second and then unleashes absolute hell in the form of arrows that, that just go directly at you. So with this overgrown hideout, uh, with this portal here, uh, if the Hydra was firing Barrage at this, the danger area on the screen is basically only about that 10 to 15 degree arc there. It's not a widespread of projectiles at all, but it's a very dangerous one. It is very important to note, whilst I discuss the map mods effects in, on this uh, encounter at length in another video, it is very important to note that if you are not using the upgraded Pantheon that uh, prevents you from being hit by projectiles that have chained, if you have a golem and the Hydra fires at your golem, or if you have a totem and the Hydra fires at your totem, you're outright dead. Uh, if the you know if they all hit you, if the barrage hits your golem multiple times and every shot from it hits you, if you find yourself in the situation where you're in a chaining map and the uh, and you've got a golem up, what you want to do is is have your golem close to the hydra and then circle both of them during that fight, during that uh, phase of the fight. The other attack, as well as barrage, that the hydra will use is a variant of the player skill rain of arrows. At least that's the way that I tend to think of it although it's very, very different to the player skill Reign of Arrows. Uh, what it does, the Hydra will fire a shot up into the air, and then there'll be, a, assuming that she was pointing again at my uh, portal there, the first one will, la uh, there'll be a sort of area of danger here, then a second area down here, a second area, a third area down here, fourth area, and so on. So several areas uh, that can, can all stack if you're in the wrong spot. The key to this attack you want to avoid being, if the Hydra is very close to you, so for instance if you're playing a true melee skill uh, like Double Strike and the Hydra looks at you, you want to very quickly reposition behind her when she does that. That will prevent you from getting caught by multiple hits of this attack. Alternately you can just endure it, uh, it's not a one shot attack, but if you hit multiple times by it you might need a, a quickened life flask to survive, an instant life flask, a seething or a bubbling. So let's go in and demonstrate what the arena hazards look like. The last thing I will note uh, though just before we get into the fight proper is that there will be phases where the Hydra disappears. So these are the arena hazards. Uh, you can see they're slow moving, 
but there will be more of them as the fight progresses. There will be ad phases as well. The ads are trivial. They serve as a way to regenerate your flask charges. So you're going to want to be moving around these. And as I say, they, you can see how much they hurt there. They're pretty painful, but they're not instantly lethal. This is with no dangerous map mods. Uh, they can be a lot more dangerous if there's map mods involved. So at this point, let's go in and introduce ourselves to the Hydra. That is the Reign of Arrows. You see the area that it's hitting. That's the big uh, forking and chaining attack, and that's the barrage. That's what they all look like in practice. So the key is that you want to uh, keep changing your or, uh, changing where you are. Here's the adds phase. Again, regenerate your flask charges. Try not to get be an idiot that gets hit by that. There you go. You can see the big... Ooh, I got hit by the barrage. I'm playing badly at the moment, uh, which means if I get killed, this will be quite funny because this is a really easy... Uh, there's a really easy Hydra. But that's what happens when you give commentary. That's what the uh, multi-directional attack looks like. It may actually not be hitting 270 degree arc. It just feels like that. And I treat it as though it's going to hit everywhere, uh, just in case. Because it's better, to, it's better to overreact and dodge something you don't need to dodge than to not dodge something you did need to dodge. You see how quickly the Hydra can chain off some of these attacks there. And there we go. I thought that might happen. Uh, trying to give commentary while doing this encounter is... It's not its not conducive to it. But anyways, we'll go back in and hopefully that'll give you a sense of what not to do. Oh, I did not realise that she was dead. So, that's the key to it. You want to be conscious of both the arena hazards and of the Hydra's own skills, and you want to balance the two of them. If you have to take one or the other, if you've got nowhere to run, then you want to get hit by the arena hazards over the uh, Hydra's skills if you can be hit by only one of the arena hazards. But if you're going to get one, two punched by two of them, then sometimes it's better to top the Hydra's hits. Barrage is an exception though. Barrage can one-shot you. Uh, pretty much, Even on quite tanky builds, Barrage can one-shot you. Especially if the first hit inflicts a status ailment. If you've got any questions about this fight, definitely uh, mention them below. Otherwise, I'll leave it there, and I hope you have a good one.